Well, let's look at this 1926 TB3 conversion, uh, Gibson conversion banjo. It is a ball bearing banjo. The banjo sounds incredible, plays incredible. And hey, if you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe to us. So let's hear what this sounds like. <laughs> So let's look at this banjo. This uh, started out as a tenor. All there, all the original parts. So if that is an original Presto tailpiece, and I'll even show you. You can tell them just, see, they have a certain type of handwriting. It says uh, Grover Patton Presto. There's a certain kind of hand. I mean, it's pretty obvious what it is, okay? Even got the original screw with it. Of course, it has the uh, two-piece armrest, which is standard for this type of a banjo, okay? And uh, has the notched tension hoop, which is right here. You can see kind of the notch. Two-piece flange. Okay, now, a fellow named C.E. Ward, who's uh, kind of a famous builder, built the neck for this. And uh, anyway, that's what it looks like. So he replicated it accurately and uh, you'll see the fiddle shape headstock and uh, I actually uh, like that particular headstock um, so I'll turn it over and you can just see the condition of it now the resonator when they did the neck they went ahead and refinished it which on um, a banjo like this which is maple if nobody told you it had been refinished, you wouldn't know. I just happen to know because we look at so many banjos, but they did an incredible job, and it looks a lot better, I'm sure, than if they had left it original. And it's kind of a, in this particular case, kind of a non-issue, and it does look pretty. Okay, so we'll take the resonator off, and we look in the resonator, and we notice chalked in is the serial number, okay? What's interesting is a lot of times we can tell if something is not quite right because uh, certain people made these and there's about six or seven or ten different handwritings and so we pretty much can recognize that okay so then I'll turn this upside down but you can see the Gibson label bingo there it is Gibson original label and that's the ball bearing uh, tone ring and basically what there are is a bunch of springs that are inside the shell and the springs push up 
on that tone ring. And the reason for that was years ago when they used hide heads, the heads during the day would uh, loosen and tighten depending on the humidity. And this was an attempt to stabilize that so you wouldn't have to, I mean, literally some of the professionals, uh, they would play and within halfway through the set, they'd have to get out a wrench and tighten their banjo. So anyway, that, that was the whole purpose of that. But if you want that pre-war, that old sound that you can only get from these uh, three-ply old uh, rims, and this is a three-quarter inch rim, by the way. Uh, I mean, they, they have not been able to capture the sound of this, all those tones in a new banjo. They can't do it. So if you want a banjo that's really not expensive at all, but has that pre-war tone and feel, and has all the original parts, I mean, this is kind of incredible situation here. So once again, if you have any questions, go to banjowarehouse.com, call Andy at 404-372-5482. And if you wanna visit us, give us a day's notice. We can see you seven days a week, but we need to know because we may be somewhere buying banjos. So you guys have a great day and we hope to hear from you or see you soon.